Finally, watu wa Wisconsin, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Hii ni siku ambayo sisi tulingojea sana. And as you know, Wisconsin, si watu wengi sana hufika hapa. And we decided for the first time, mimi kama JD nitafika hapa Wisconsin. Well, to this dinner organized by Amara Realty. And uh, let me tell you, tulifika hapa, it's called Daily State. Watu hapa wako busy sana. And uh, of course, uh, hata kama kuna wakenya si wengi vile, uh, I came to realize this place is dominated by the white, hata blacks, and ni moja moja pale. But I will tell you what Kenyans bado came for our dinner and we thank God we had beautiful time in fact, I had pleasure uh, kukutana na watu ambao walikuwa naishi Alabama wakahamia Wisconsin because they said business here is favoring them. Well, thank you very much John and Anne Kanyeri for your support and also kututaftia mahali kama hapa. And let me tell you, the food was awesome. Ay, ay, ay. Mimi hata sijawahi kula event but this one I could not miss the salmon the chicken the rice I mean it was on point asanteni sana and I'm believing that a CEO of Amara Realty hata pia yeye aliona watu wa hapa walifurahia sana oh, we will be having good time so now ladies and gentlemen it is my pleasure to bring on board the honorable CEO nimetangaza sana the longest anaitwa Jane Thank for coming, my sister and friends. Meshkuru sana. God is good, and all the time, wana asifiwe. Uh, today, I'm very happy. I think a lot has been said about what we do and uh, what sets us apart. And uh, somebody was asking me, how did I get into the real estate business? And for me to be here, I am living my passion. Because when I was in my 20s, I asked myself, post-accountancy, what am I going to do? I'm an accountant by profession. So I asked myself, what am I going to do after I am done with accounting? And in my heart, I started feeling a pull towards real estate. And I didn't understand exactly what it meant to start a real estate business. So every year, when you're doing your New Year resolutions, I would write to start my real estate business, to open a real estate company. And this kept on year on year for more than a decade. But I kept at it. It was here in my heart. I never lost uh, the vision. So fast forward, that vision came to pass. That vision came to what is the moral of the story there? Who has learned something? Don't give up. Don't give up. Patience. Write your vision. Because one day, it will come to pass. So fast forward, I started uh, into the real estate business when I was still in employment. You know, you need to, first of all, get to know where am I going to get into before you jump ship and you leave your paycheck and you go into a business that you do not understand. So I started uh, selling when I was still in employment. I would buy uh, a shamba in my name, sell, subdivide and sell. And the first city I came to in the United States was actually Kansas City. So I went to Kansas City and I got many friends. And it is a community that really has uh, supported me was Kansas City because that was my first city. They believed in me and they bought. And I have so many clients there. Fast forward, 2019, I got another vision that not only am I going to sell land, but I'm going to start building homes. So on the 26th of November, 2019, I wrote down that I'm going to build an estate and I gave it a name. And I printed out pieces of paper. Some of them I stuck on my mirror, bathroom mirror, uh, but there's one that I stuck on my laptop. So every morning when I open my laptop, I see that I'm going to build, I'm going to build a nest it. And fast forward, 2023, by God's grace, that came to pass in December. But I kept at it. I kept looking at it. I kept remembering. And of course, for some years it was dormant. But 2023, I do remember. And I keep saying this. Because there are people who are there in your life 
and you need to listen because when God wants to bring something to maturity, he will lose anybody, he will lose anyone. So one day I'm driving to school, I'm taking my daughter to school and she asks me, mom, why can't you build a nest it? And I'm thinking, okay, what do you mean? So she starts saying, no, you can build a nest it, blah, 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 and all that. So that enters my heart and I'm thinking, okay, there is that vision I have for building homes. Back in 2019, I need to bring it forward. Then one day, we are still driving another day, a different day, and she asks me, why can't you build an estate like Jacaranda? How many people know Jacaranda estates? Okay, a couple of people know Jacaranda. Jacaranda is one estate that has been done by the Chinese. It has maybe thousands of homes there. And she's trying to tell me what you need to do. Uh, you can build something like Jacaranda, but be different. Don't do what everybody else is doing. And this is... At that point, I think she was seven, going to eight years old. And she's trying to articulate, this is what you're going to do. You're going to build a place where people can come. Our children have a place to play. People can buy stuff. And this is a child trying to articulate the vision. And that's when I woke up. And I started looking for land. And I knew where I wanted the land. And that's a place I went to look for land. And that's on Gatanga Road. Just that road from uh, Blue Post. That's where I started looking for land. And for a whole year, I started the negotiations, and it was a process. It was a process. Uh, at one point, my dad told me, you know what? I think these people are taking too long to actually realize that you have a dream that you need to fulfill. Why don't you look elsewhere? And when I decided to look elsewhere within the same area, in less than one and a half months, I had closed the deal. And before then, I had come to the United States in the month of May, June, and July. Because when now I started looking for land, the next question is, what am I going to build here? So I sat down with an architect and we came up with a design. And I came with a design to the United States. That was last year. And I went around in many uh, cities, and I wanted to talk about these homes. I already had the name, but when I look at the homes I want to talk about, I'm like, uh, this has not, it's not yet there. So I went to visit various homes. Uh, as Jeremy said, I went to $2 million, $1 million, 500000 I mean, all sorts of homes to try and see what is it that I can do differently back in Kenya and give people Everybody says I have a dream home in my mind. But how can I, wish, I mean, actualize these dream homes for many people so that everybody who sees it is like, oh my God, this is what I've been looking for. This is what I've been looking for. So I went around, took notes, went back, sat with my architect, and I told him, now we need to sit on the table and we are going to work on this. So all the ideas I had, we started implementing one by one. Most of the nights I'd go home past midnight. My daughter would ask me, <clears throat> why did you come so home late? I mean, home so late. And I'll tell her, I sat with the architects. And sometimes she would say, mommy, can I come and sit with you guys? I also have ideas to contribute. And yes, she sat with us. So some of the ideas that you have seen are actually her ideas. And every single detail that you have seen, there is no borrowed detail. Nothing is borrowed. Where every pillar is, where the bedrooms are, how the kitchen looks like. Every single painting, we actually sat with the architect, looked for the paintings that would actually fit in various places. So this is something that is 100% authentic from Amara Realty. Nothing borrowed. All right. So I, I, I thank God for the far that we have come. So when you look at the Oint country homes, one of the things we decided <clears throat> was that we were going to build these homes in a hundred by hundred. Why? Because when we go out there to sell land, we tell people we are selling to you hundred by hundred. So we have to lead by example and tell people when you build a home in, on a hundred by hundred, this is how it's going to look like. This is how you're going to utilize your space. So that's what we did. We have built our homes on a hundred by hundred. Number two, when you get into the house, 
you don't get in into the house and the first thing you see is a couch. So you're greeted by a grand foyer. Right? So you walk in and you have a nice mirror, you have a beautiful console table if you want to put one there. And you have this open space. You know, you don't feel congested. The other thing is we, we decided. Uh, sometimes, most of us like hosting. Uh, you want your nice clean kitchen to remain clean and nice and pristine. But you also want to do the heavy duty cooking. So that's why we have provided two state of the art kitchens. One for your heavy duty, the other one for your day to day where you want to keep it clean, nice to look at and beautiful. The other thing is that we have two living rooms, one downstairs and the other one upstairs. I'm going to talk about the one upstairs. One of the things I listened and I heard is that by the time somebody wants to go back home, you've worked, you don't want to keep climbing the stairs. So one of the things we've done is that we've provided for a master bedroom downstairs. All right? Very spacious with a walk-in closet. And when you get to the bathroom, as you sit there in your nice bathtub, it opens up to the skies. Because we have opened up, we have glass, so you can look into the sky, uh, feel like you're outside, but you're inside. And that's optional. Some of you like your private space. Nobody will see you, but you can see the skies. Uh, the other bedrooms are very nice. Every bedroom has a nook. And the reason we put that is sometimes you want to read. Sometimes you want to sit and meditate. You have a space away from your bed where you can go sit. You can go read your book. You can go meditate. You can go, you know, just be you. That's a reason we have provided a nook. Again, it's optional for those who want to have it in all the bedrooms. We have a DSQ. Our homes are four bedrooms. So we have four bedrooms and a DSQ. The DSQ, you can access it from outside. You have access to the wet kitchen or the dirty kitchen. Therefore, if you are away and you want to lock your house, the person you have left at home, they have access to their DSQ and they have access to the kitchen. So they can do whatever it is that they need to do without interfering with the rest of the house. Now, we go upstairs. When you're going up the spiral staircase, it also opens up to the sky. We've provided great lighting. Our windows are large, and then it opens up. We have glass at the top, so you can actually feel the rain. As it rains, you can see the stars, you can see the birds as they fly across. I mean, what we're providing uh, as an oint country home is not just a home, it's an experience. When you get into that house, you are, you know, you're living an experience, not just walking through rooms and, you know, it's an experience that we're giving to every person that purchases a home at the oint country home. So upstairs, once you get in, we have now another bedroom. And the reason we have one bedroom upstairs, there are people who say, oh, we are still young. Uh, maybe you want our master up there. So it's, it's a provision. It's not as grand as the one downstairs, but it can serve as a master as well, or your private dwelling where you can go to retreat with your wife or your loved one. That's the space for it. And then it's, it opens up to another lounge and out into a beautiful green terrace. Tell somebody, beautiful green terrace. So if you want to have parties, if you want to have friends coming around, that's a place you go sit and have a great time with your people. I mean, I'm already there. I am there. I am every day. I talk about these homes. I actually see myself already living in that home. And somebody may ask, how big are these homes? In terms of square meters, 300 square meters. In terms of square feet, it's 3,230. That's a big home. That's a massive home. How many people understand those parameters? I think most of us do understand, isn't it? So it's a big, spacious home. 
and the beautiful gardens crowns it all. So I invite you, come and be part of this, the Oint Country Homes. And for those wondering, what does the Oint mean? It actually means anointed. And that's the name I got in 2019. So, yeah, that's what it means. So when you get in there, you're actually getting into an anointed, gated community. And I mean, the presence of God is there. The peace of God is there. We have already gone to the land. We have prayed over the land. We were sitting with Pastor David there. And he was saying that the words that we speak to the ground, it opens up and receives those words. Right? So when you go and buy a parcel of land or whatever it is that you buy, you have to be cognizant that this land had an owner before. And now that it is transitioning and you're getting this land, you have to transition it on paper, but spiritually as well. So whenever we buy land, we do that. We transition and we say, this land does not belong now to the old owners. It now belongs to a moral reality and the people who are going to buy into it. So when you get in there, you're getting into a land that is free from whatever could have been spoken in the past. So again, he was saying, you don't have to do too much work binding the devil, casting him out. It's already done for you by Amara Realty. So, Karibu <laughs> Sana. Oh, give me a clap. <laughs> so, Karibu Sana, get uh, yourself the Oint Country Homes, beautiful, beautiful homes. This is the first, and I can tell you, we are going to do many, many more. The first community is a, whole, a community of 28. We are going to expand it to 43. That is where you've seen. When you look at the house, it says number. So we ha the first phase has to get to 43. By faith. <laughs> so, but the first units that we've launched are 28. We have a clubhouse. Uh, we've provided a whole uh, 100 by 100 for the clubhouse where now the community can come, hold their gatherings, and, you know, sit, enjoy, and everything. So, that is the Oint Country Homes for only 24.8 million. Only. 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 And I'll tell you, honestly speaking, honestly speaking, those are the most affordable homes within that area. Somebody just check how much is a home in Thicker Greens, because we are neighbors to Thicker Greens. A plot alone, 100 by 100 is 8 million. You haven't built. You don't have a community yet. So those are the most affordable homes within that area, and even the other areas. Don't be left behind. Come be part of us at Amara Realty with the Oint Country Homes. Any question? Yes. Yes. Uh, well, uh, uh, now, I know you're saying this is a development, so mm. I'm figuring, I guess, there is what there is a, like a fan, there is a pain, Yes, yes. Then, yeah. So, what we, what we are doing, as you can see, these are not just ordinary homes. So, our security is going to be top-notch. So, we are going to do the security fence. We are going to do razor wire on it and, and uh, electric on top. And again, we will have people who are going to man the estate. Because this one, you have people coming in, people coming out. So we need security. So that is part of what is going to be provided within that estate. And that area is actually coming up with many more estates. So it's going to be, a, you know, it's going to be, even the security will be, and right now the security is good, but even when we build, we'll enhance that security. So you don't have to be afraid. Yes, we have people living in... Uh, uh, away from apartments, you have people living in such gated communities and the security is perfect. Yeah. Anyone else? Terms of payment. Oh, terms of payment. She's asking about the terms of payment. 
So for you to book a home, you pay a deposit of 4.6 million, 4.65 million, you book a home, the rest is payable within 18 months. That is a construction period that we're going to have. Yes. A follow-up on uh, what happened. John was. Does it appear like we will have a monthly maintenance fee? Because you talked about yes. people manning the facility. So even yes. after you buy, yes. there is a monthly maintenance fee or what I think they call they call it a condominium Service fee charge. here. What, what is it projected or expected to be? Uh, okay, that one we have not projected the amounts because that will be determined by the number of guards that we shall require. And again, that is also where the residents come in and they sit together. Because once we have built, we will hand over the management of the estate to the residents. And that's where the residents will come and say we'll be contributing 8,000 a month so that we are able to have five guards or six guards. We'll have a gardener who is going to maintain the common areas. So that is what uh, the homeowners association or the residents association is going to do. So yes, there'll be a service charge in addition to after you've purchased. And this is for the maintenance of your homes. Yeah. Yes. <coughs> so my question is, some of us, or at least for me, you know, we always wonder, so you have a property like this, it's a lot of money, right? Yes. I have young children who are here, and so the old party, the only time we spend time is in Kenya, is, you know, we visit family. Mm. We could have a vacation home, but obviously we are still in that younger years that we can afford that, so to say. Mm. If someone was to invest in this and probably try to get a renter, do you have an idea? Is it, is it feasible to say, I'll put a renter in there? If yes, some potential management companies that could... could could help me right keep up with the renting process and and collect the money. Do, do you think this property is for that purpose? Um, uh, no, it's probably more single family living homes. Uh, one, once you purchase the home, remember this is your home, so you have liberty to do as you said. You can rent it out. Uh, you can convert it to a high end Airbnb. That is an option that you have. Because again, we understand you're here and you cannot live a vacant home, so you're free to rent. And yes, we have many companies that do uh, the rental and they do the management of rent, but maybe along the way, we'll also have an arm of a matter of realty that will also help in the process. But yes, there are many people who can do that for you. Hassle-free. Yes. Question? Yeah, okay. yeah, actually, my question is very simple. I heard you talking about uh, 3,000 uh, square foot. 3,200 square foot. Yes. And uh, is this livable space or is it build up space? The built up space. Build up space. Yes. Do you have an idea of what the livable space is? Mm, I would have to calculate that. Okay. The letable space. That uh, is, no, the livable yeah. space. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. All right. That's, that's a built that's up question. area. Build up space. Yeah. Quick question. You said uh, how much is the total cost of the house? 24.8. 24.8, eight, right? And how much is the deposit? Uh, 4.65. So you have about uh, 20 million balance, right? Yes. So you, you said uh, it has to be paid before the end of construction? Yes. By the time we are handing over the house to you, you should have completed. Let's put it that way. Uh, this is about what, 18 months? 18 months, yes. Don't you think that is a very short period for someone to raise 20 million uh, balance? <laughs> consider it, no, con consider actually, there are people lose who are actually telling me, Jane, 4.6, you to So <laughs> Because some people, some other people, maybe they are uh, paying mortgage over here, considering mm. that you have about the same amount of money over here if, uh, to pay a house. On a light note, we've and, actually considered that, and we are working with banks. So if you feel that maybe that is a stretch... Okay, maybe that's an answer. Yes. If you feel that's a stretch uh, in terms of the monthly repayment, we have a bank that you're working with, and what they're going to do, once you have paid up your deposit, then now they'll come, they'll have an arrangement. Of course, they'll have checked uh, how much they can be able to loan you, and then now they'll be stepping in. So every 
um, let's say monthly, we'll give them our the bill. Uh, the architect will give the bill, and they will be able to finance that part, and to go, you know, in stages. So you'll not take out the whole facility at a go. It will be done in stages. Okay, yeah, you, you gave me the answer because I was con yes. considering that a very short time, yes. considering that over here we could uh, have to maybe 30 years to pay your mortgage, mm. but now you give the answers that you can take from mortgage from yes. the bank. And, and I want to tell you, the reason why our homes are actually very affordable is because we are going on with the journey with you. If I were to build those homes and tell you come and buy the home, it would be between 30 to 35 million. Okay, so yes. do you have a... Are you going to introduce, your, say, your customers uh, to the uh -huh. bank that they can finance? Them? Yes, yes. All right. We already have a partnership with the bank. So when you're ready, we will walk the journey with you. Perfect. Yes. Any other question? The financial. The financing part. Yes, and th that's for the homes because the homes, it's a large amount. So the banks would come in. Uh, when I traveled to the UK, maybe I, I need to just point this out. There are people who asked me, Jane, you only give us six months to pay. Because again, we buy our projects up front. We need to pay the seller even before we bring the project to you. So it's capital intensive. So I can't be able to give you very long term to pay because again, our business is going to be shut. So what they kept telling me, why don't you facilitate a way where people can start putting in money, at least they're able to raise a deposit, and then thereafter they can borrow and be able to purchase a plot of land. So we went back and we have started a circle. And this circle is primarily to help people who are not able to raise a deposit. So you, you invest in the circle, you put in your money, Six months, you're able to borrow. And then that title of yours is what becomes your security. Uh, or you can get guarantors to guarantee you, to guarantee you. So if you're here in a community, Wisconsin people, I'm able to get guarantee from somebody within our community. So that way you will grow. And somebody is able to say, since I don't have the 1.94 million of the 2.1 million, but I can start a journey. You can raise the 500,000, you can borrow, and then now your title becomes our security or the security for the circle. Is that good? Yes. yes. It started already. We received a certificate, I think, uh, about two weeks ago from the uh, cooperative, so we are ready to go. So my question would be, if somebody wanted to be like in the, in the sub, I like the sub part. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, yeah, because, you know, if I am to be realistic, Mm. sometimes that is how we are able to achieve, yes. you know, the goals or the dreams that we have, you mm. know. But, and I would really love to know, you know, how I can be. It's very easy. For you to become a member of the circle, there is a joining fee or a registration fee of 2,000 shillings, Kenya shillings. Uh, the share capital is 10,000. Okay. okay. So the share capital is not part of the money you can borrow against. That is like when a business is starting to share capital, so that's share capital for the circle. And then now you can contribute any amount monthly according to your weasel. Yes, but a minimum of a thousand. Are you guys going to have uh, dividends? Yes, because you know, you know the circle is member run. It's not Jane as, as the CEO of Amara Realty. This is a different. So the members or the people who are going to be selected as a management uh, committee, they're going to say we have earned X amount of interest from member loans or from wherever other place they have invested. So we are going to redistribute this to our members. So yes, there'll be dividends and there'll be interest. Yes. And then they will invest, uh, the committee will determine where to invest. The what? The committee of the circle yes. will determine to, they can invest anywhere. No. Where they decide it's uh, No, what happens is that uh, they have guidelines from the cooperative. 
uh, when it comes to a credit uh, circle, because us is a circle, savings and credit, meaning people save and they borrow. If you have extra funds, you're able to uh, invest, but the cooperative is very clear. You can only invest in liquid securities. Like you can buy bonds, you can buy treasury bills. So it restricts where you can invest, which is good because now people don't just go and buy or invest aimlessly and risk the member's funds. So they have guidelines. You can uh, invest in uh, fixed deposits with banks. Yeah. So ideally, safe securities. Let me put it that way. Yeah. And I'm looking to see if there's another question. Well, my question is, Four million. Yes. And maybe there is we are sitting going well as we get old we want just something cute and small. Yes. Whereby you can just cook dinner. Yes. And then maybe <laughs> and entertain one friend, right? Have somewhere to to rest and then go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Maybe the next one now this is anointed the anointed. You should <laughs> think about getting and then a little bit we will play in all spaces. <laughs> so you will get something that will fit, will fit your bill very soon. All right. So. Uh, are you planning? Are you planning to to do business out, outside Kenya or you're doing only in Kenya? All in future. Are you planning to go East Africa or all of Africa? <laughs> Thank you, because that is called expanding my vision. So I am not limited to Kenya. At the moment, it's Kenya because we've not exhausted Kenya. But when God opens the opportunities for us to go to Tanzania, to go to Rwanda, we will go because we are not bound by the Kenyan boundaries. So yes. We will cross borders. <laughs> yes, John. When I was talking to a lot of people, mm -hmm. there is a question which they were asking me yes. uh, about do you have something maybe close to Nakuru or outside, uh, outside Nairobi? Nairobi. Yeah. Uh, okay, I know about the Nakuru, but right now what we have outside Nairobi is we have something on Kanguda Road, which is Cosmopolitan, and we have something in Nanyuki, it's also Cosmopolitan, and yes, we shall consider going to Nakuru. Actually, I've been looking, it's only that I have not gotten something. I always tell people, when we invest or when we buy land as a Mara Realty, the number one test, whether this is good, is can Jane... Or can I buy it for myself if somebody else was selling it? So if the answer is yes, then I'll buy. If the answer is no, I will not touch. So there are places I have gone, but because the land has not appealed, then I have not bought. So we are looking into Nakuru, and very soon we'll get something there. Yes. How many people want Nakuru? Nikilata msiniyache kwa mata. Okay, a number of people. Okay. What's coming up in Nanyuki? I saw Nanyuki featured uh, and you mentioned it. Are you building this level of homes or what's coming up? Uh, Nanyuki, what we have, we have plots. We do not have uh, homes. Uh, and one of the things about Nanyuki, it's one of those cosmopolitan towns. You go to Nanyuki and you actually feel like you're in any other state in the U.S. Because the people you meet there, you meet all cultures. I mean, the, if there's one town that has all the banks, is Nanyuki. So it tells you the level of development in that place. And it's one place that you can actually live and forget about the rest of the country. So every time I go to Nanyuki, you want to feel, I mean, I feel like I want to stay there for a couple of more days. I go for one day trip and I say, no, I have to sleep here because it's so inviting. It's so warm. It's a tourist uh, location. Uh, anybody who wants a place away from home, 
that is the location to be. So there we have plots. Uh, we are currently selling quarter acres at only 540. That's about $4,200. Yes, amazing projects. Yeah. And all our projects, we do amazing things. You've seen the projects we've done? Don't they look good? Yeah. We, we, we have raised the bar in the real estate industry. Yeah. And, yes. I'm in Kenya. We have an office that is right next to Thika Road Mall uh, on Thika Road. Yeah. An office. Uh, we are in a building called Jewel Complex, second floor. You will find us there next to Thika Road Mall. That's where we are. And you can always call us on the brochures that, that you have. We have the address there. You can always come and visit us should you be in Kenya. Yeah. Any other? All right. Pastor Kamugo, do you have a question? No, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. So thank you so much. Uh, please, I'll be seated here or even here when we are done. Come, ask those questions that you could not ask. But please, do not go without something. Jeremy talked about rural east. Please, ask your neighbor, do you have something in rural east? And very soon, it is going to happen very soon because when we used to talk about <laughs> don't laugh in advance, God Jacquanza, bypass Jagwe was a kucheka, you know. <laughs> Please, and this I'm saying it on a very serious note. On a very serious note. If you don't have something in rural East Mwalimu Farm, please take this very seriously. Get something for yourself. Eh? Si hapo Mwalimu Farm hali umenunua? Eh, wewe uko chonjo, wewe uko sawa. So if you don't have please see me don't go without something because the next time I'm coming here, I'll be talking of a different story because many of the times people were asking me, this bypass you talk about, this bypass you talk about, when is it going to be done? And my answer used to be, I do not know, but I know it's going to be done. Now I know it has been declared that from next year, it's going to start. So are you going to wait for the bypass? How many will wait for the bypass? How many have that courage to wait for the bypass? Good. So take the chance now, because in another two, three years, you'll be happy that you sat in this meeting and you made a decision to buy. Thank you so much. Back to the MC. Before you go, ni uh, wagapi wamekubaliana ya kwamba hiyo 24 million ni nyingi sana kwetu hatuwezi Dauliza ni nani amesema hiyo nimekubali ni mingi mimi siwezi <laughs> Awesome so exactly me I'll say this is not even about the bank is about faith Okay brothers is about faith Jesus said if you have that small faith, you can move this mountain from this side to that mountain. So, mimi nasema, kama umeona nyumba umeipenda, you just need to start. Yeah. True. I mean, you just need, when you say our Yazaka project, unajikitukia haya, imeisha. Because the Bible says he will provide according to our, our to what? Faith. Our needs. Our needs. Because you have to get this new bus. You have to get it. I mean, so we have to take the step of it. John, I know that you have a lot of people. But he said, I'll take this. And another one, and another one, and another one. And I said, I'm going to get it here. So please, become our neighbor. If you have to get 24 million, you have to get it. It's true. Isn't it? So if you have your 4.6, you have to get it. The one good thing I know, if you have to get it, you have to get it. You know, sisi si wale wapata potea, atuwekelea sasa kufike mahali bwana Charles. Hata kama umejenga mansion mansion kule upande wa Nyabarwa, 
na hururu tunakutaka karibu na Nairobi bana eh tunakutaka karibu na Nairobi so jen as i let you go hii mambo ya land naona huku iongelelea sana okay but i still want to talk about this he property unajua me i told them he property iko hapa kuna mtu anasema siwezi hiyo ya 24 million but hiko karibu na bypass his he brought he brought iko ulisema iko how many kilometers from bypass labda mimi sikusikia vizuri it's 500 meters 500 yes meters yes from the proposed greater eastern bypass na hiyo ndio unauza 1.94 million cash 1.94 mtu alifanyia mahesabu ni abia hizo ni dola gapi 15,097 15,000 mm. So imagine hiyo pesa umeweka chini ya kitanda kwa sababu ninajua mko nazo kwa nyumba <laughs> You give out 15,000 ukipewa cash utabeba Kuna vile nitajipanga e, nikikubebea kumi na wewe bebe ingine <laughs> unapeleka nyumbani So what I'm trying to say is even if you cannot get that um 24 million house please mm. take those 10 plots in the back hapo ukitaka kuchukua zote one acre has how many plots uh four Just four like, plots yeah. because it's a hundred by a hundred mm. sasa mimi niko na ine hapo mm. na john uko hapo eh hapo kwa ka, ka, ka bypass bado ako mahali pengine lakini sio hapo fikiria hapo kwa bypass alikuwa anasema anafikiria hiyo mambo ya fikiria mambo ya bypass i mean so deposit because 500000 and that we hizo 10 plots aseme let me do it by faith let me do like jeremy said niwekelee hiyo anawekelea ngapi 500000 500000 hiyo ni pesa ngapi in dollars 500000 just at the 4000 about 4000 mm. so i mean you can be part of this mm. upon uh, you only 6 months 6 yeah. months mm. yeah so 1.9 ukiweka deposit size ya 2.1 ukiweka deposit ya 500 utabaki na 16 1.6 yeah. 1.6 you divide by 6 months utakuwa ukilipa pesa ngapi that's all you need to do mm. Thank you very much. Tumpigie makofi mazuri. Kuna mtu ako na swali kuhusu hiyo bypass? Anybody? Ha? Huh? Kuna mtu nimesikia akiuliza. Mm. Hebu tusikizane kwanza. Kuna mtu nimesikia akiuliza. Hiyo hiyo Rainbow East iko wapi? Oh. Huyu maji. Oh, please. Okay. Mwelezee dakika kidogo. Okay, let me explain where Rainbow East is. How many people know Kamakis? ama wamesikia Kamakis. Okay, good. When you are at Kamakis, uh, when you are that road as you head towards Kangudo Road, on this side there is Northland City, hiyo shamba ya Kenyatta family, and this side the industrial park of the Northland City. Now, where the industrial park of the Northland City starts on this side, if you go with your boundary, when the nayo mpaka kwa mto uvuke mto huko ndio Ruro East Mwalimu farm so ideally we actually border northland city only that you have to go and cross a river and go to the other side and that's a road we are saying these are that's a road that is going to link the eastern bypass to the proposed greater eastern bypass and from that link road to where our land is is only 500 meters so meaning in a very short time tutakuwa tuna tunapitia hapo uh, eastern bypass hiyo jia kamakis unaenda nayo unavuka mto and you go to the other side and that's what i was telling somebody for the longest time uh, we didn't know what, when it, the bypass is going to be done but last year we had a lot of activity where we would see people coming to survey where the bridge is going to be and now that it has come from the cs's mouth that actually the greater eastern bypass is in the pipeline it's now good news for us neighboring that if you are coming now right now because that road is not built so the bridge does not exist we have to go around to roy quick mart from roy quick mart you go like you're going parallel to thika road and see if you're going towards juja farm so before once you exit nairobi county that's where now rural east starts and rural east is in kiambu county mwalimu farm 
So hapo jia ya Quickmart unapitia hapo ukifika mwisho wa Lami Ruro East inaanza. Now from mwisho wa Lami hiyo to where our land is the one that we are talking about is only 1.9 kilometers. All right. Another other thing is it's not official but the land that borders where the tarmac ends that land there there are news that they are going to build homes there affordable homes like 17000 homes so if that is done now this place opens up just like that so if you don't have something in rural east mwalimu farm again i say utacheko Amara Realty for your peace of mind.